Welcome guys, I'm in the virus biome and I'm using the anti-plant virus mod and it has all sorts of crazy, weird, wacky and ambiguous mobs and instruments I might add. This fat guy right over here throwing blocks at me is the main sort of boss of this mod. Now, like I might add, there is a massive biome called the virus. Now, what this virus does is sort of creates your Minecraft experience a little bit more entertaining, gives it more a more of an interesting twist. Now, this is a Japanese mod, so you know it's going to be good. Now, let me travel over here to my nice little island of my little testing island, where uh, I'll show you off all the cool little nooks and crannies of this mod. So here I'm placing down some saplings so I can show you off the first feature of this mod, um, and it's called the anti-plant virus. Now, of course, it is anti-plant, so uh, take a look at this. Bam! Doesn't like plants, huh? So it throws down a potion and deletes any tree entity over here or whatsoever. It gets destroyed and then we throw it again. That tree gets destroyed. Now the first time I did it, it actually did a kind of a cool effect. Sort of partially did it. So like the trunk went first, then the leaves. Uh, but now it seems to be doing the whole tree instantaneously. Now uh, there we go. You can see that it sort of did it partially there as well. Now, uh, let's go move on. Now, um, the way you craft this uh, sort of me mechanism or this uh, sort of splash potion is by collecting or killing some of the bugs that are found in the virus. Now, the bugs drop a virus seeds. Now, you can amplify the uh, amount of virus seeds you have by surrounding it with sugar. So, you crystallize them and you get delicious virus seeds out of them. So, for one virus seed, you get two uh, if you surround it with uh, sugar. So, it's uh, rather quite good and uh, profitable uh, um, sort of uh, thing to coat them with sugar. Now, once you have your virus seeds, what you'd like to do is you'd want to have three and some glass in the center and a sapling for the appropriate uh, sort of crafting recipe you want. And we get the anti-plant virus A and you get three of them. So it's uh, kind of kind of nice if you want to clear out a bush and you don't want to chop them down with an ax. This is a much more efficient way of doing so. God, these guys are nasty buggers. All right, I'm getting, oh God. Oh god, I'm getting molested by this virus biome. Here are the bugs that I was talking about earlier that you can slay, and uh, you can actually get your stuff back, but we're going to die. Alright, don't want to die. Alright, stop, stop. Creative mode. There we go. Creative mode. Ah, there we go. So like I was going to mention before we got ambushed by these massive hordes of uh, viruses, um, is that uh, there are a couple of potions that uh, may heal you. Uh, in case of an attack like that. So, so we need to munch on this. Now this one gave, it gave us a full... Oh god, that creative mode. Ah, oh, there we go. We nearly died. That was scary. Um, so we have a potion of purification. It sort of purifies us. And uh, these uh, three don't really give off... Uh, so what is shooting at us? What is... Who, where? Where are... I don't remember any mob shooting arrows other than... From this, what is happening? Ah, oh, look, there's a dispenser. Oh no, it's not that. This is really confusing. Who is shooting arrows at me? Hmm. I think it. I think it's a friendly skeleton. There are friendly skeletons, and but I can't locate him. Who is shooting at me? I don't like this at all. Stop it. God, do you see that? It's just like stuff. What's happening? God. Okay. God, this is. Are you shooting it? No, he's not. This is scary. We've got three little bugs following me. I'm in creative mode and something's shooting arrows at me. So I figured out who was shooting uh, these arrows at me. It's a carrier bug and he is an, has an extremely long range. That's why he's throwing stuff at me. Oh, see, he has multiple attacks. I only knew about the teleportation he can do, but uh, I forgot about the uh, shooting arrows or poison he can do. So if we actually go up close to him, he'll be actually poisoning us with us. Uh, with, no, you're, you're crawling away. Are you scared? Oh god, stop it! See, he's got all these multiple different attacks. Each mob, uh, the sort of bigger mobs, have multiple attacks, which are really, really well done. And uh, I must commend this mod, uh, how awesome it is, and how detailed it is as well with all these attacks and stuff. It didn't go, it went, everything went under a fine comb and uh, very nicely done. Now, let's go over here. We got. Uh, I've talked about you with the uh, potions a little bit. Now, the potions aren't really that effective, especially you got to drink them and in, in the heat of battle, they aren't really the best. I might add that uh, you should uh, try and craft these, but these have a really hard crafting recipe, uh, so I really doubt the usage of either potions or food from this mod. 
um, because it is rather rather quite expensive. The, for the uh, forum thread has all the crafting recipes because uh, I'll be here till tomorrow if I went over with all the crafting recipes. But uh, let's go over and take a look at the mobs now. Like you have seen before in this video, this mod implements eight vicious mobs into the game of Minecraft. And uh, let's go take a look at the first one, which is called a Helena. He's a butterfly, or she's a butterfly. It only spawns in the virus. All these uh, sort of uh, mobs only spawn in the virus. They like uh, to sit on a, uh, another mob's head. And or just flap their wings around. Now, if you get in a good radius or a close radius of them, they will actually poison the air they are around you. So you can see the particles of the ender sort of particles. If you touch that, you will get poisoned. So uh, I'm going to switch over to survival mode and see if we can spawn a Helena. And uh, you don't want to, you don't want to come near, it, come and attack me, huh? Yeah, that's right. You're scared of me. You're scared. Oh god, now we're getting it. Okay, we're getting attacked. We are getting attacked. Look at the long range of. Oh god, now we're getting poisoned from that. Oh god, go away. Go away. For the people that are wondering why is the virus forest uh, so bright, it's because I turned the, the light command on single player command so you guys can see it a little bit better. But we've moved away from uh, the dangers and sort of moved on this beach. So. Next is a, a, a virus bug. Now there are two different types of virus bugs. One that is a ground uh, sort of bug and one that can fly. Now they have both different attacks. Uh, the flying virus bug actually drops acid on you. So if you get hit by acid, what it will do is deteriorate your weapons. Um, so for example, if we get hit by an acid shot, uh, we will actually be hit um, and our durability of our sword will go down. Um, so that's a quite a unique uh, sort of attack and we're about to get demolished. Uh, don't die. Uh, oh, I died. I don't know where my spawn is. Crap. God damn it, I had everything, all the eggs nicely placed in order and everything and now uh, it took me uh, quite a while to find the actual uh, sort of um, biome and now we're sort of teleported in. Into my spawn, I should have placed down a bed. Damn you. Damn you, Helena Butterfly. Aha, at last I found a new virus sort of biome, and we are f faced with the uh, evil virus flying bugs, and of course, the, all the evil natures that are involved with this mod. Now take a look at this. There is no Minecraft biome that quite looks the same like this. Sort of like a... Um, the trees just fold over, you can rarely see the sky. Somewhat like a jungle biome, but without the sort of uh, density and sort of the hilly uh, terrain. And there is the night bug, that is the boss of the... There are two bosses, um, This is, they're called the two medium bosses. I, I don't think the uh, king or the alpha male boss has been actually created in this mod. And like I was saying, look how flat the grass is, and it gives that nice sort of contour of a very nice humble abode. I'd love to make a house here. Very nice and uh, very, very friendly. Now, there should be, uh, um, I, uh, I'm hoping there should be um, later on addition to as maybe like a little stronghold or something that you can fight off and you can make that your own house. So uh, let's go back into the mods. We sort of uh, sidetracked away from the mods. Now, the first one is, uh, or the first one in this section is, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of it. It's a Serupinia, I'm probably completely wrong. Now, this guy, this bug, I should say, take a look at the animation on this bug. He is really awesome. You can see his tails or his little spines or like spikes waddle around and uh, we sort of aggravate him. Take a look at his leg. Oh, God. Take a look at his leg. Right? This is really bad camera work by me. Um, take a look at his leg movements. Very nice. Very arachnid-like. I like this. I like this. This is... He can jump three blocks high, so that's why you can see he sort of jumped out of frame there, because he's a he's a climby, jumpy bugger. Now, he has no fall damage, and he doesn't like hot and cold weather, according to this forum post. The forum post is very hard to decipher, because it is a Japanese mod, and somewhat poorly translated into English. I'm not quite sure if the person translating is Japanese, or he just used... Um, Google uh, Translate to Translate, and uh, this is kind of cool. I really wish I'd have a pet like this. Look at this. He's like just following me around. Yeah, creepy little bugger. I like you, though. You're pretty cool. Now, he has the standard zombie attack. He doesn't have any cool attack-like uh, mentalities. All he likes is to walk really swaggerish. I should just make like an hour-long loop of this guy following me. Look at him. Look at him go. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Okay, now nah, I think he's a bit angry. All right, let's fly away from him so we so we can uh, 
continue on. All right, so the next one is the carrier bug. Now, we've actually looked at him quite before. Um, now, there, he has two different types of attacks. Of course, he looks like a spider. Now, there are three sort of things that he can do. He um, shoots poison that we can see. Um, if we aggravate him, he will uh, go away. He has an extremely long range, and uh, he will shoot poison at me. There we go. You can see a shot there. But since I am um, in creative mode, there we go. Um, it sort of bounces off me. And he has, he has an extremely long range. And if I somewhat get into a, sort of a range of him, um, there we go. He will throw an ender pearl uh, at me and uh, sort of try and get me away from him, which is kind of kind kind of neat. And if he wants to get closer to me, he will shoot an ender pearl ender pearl at me, and he will get closer to me. So that's a kind of a vice versa effect. Now you can see this purple uh, sort of mystifying motion potion effect, and uh, that is actually drawing me in. So if we go follow him, uh, he draws me in. It sort of sucks me in. I'm not even holding my uh, W key, and he sort of sucks me in, which is another cool and uh, nifty effect. Now he can also transfer one of these virus seeds and plant them somewhere else. All right, stop, stop molesting me and dragging me over to yourself. All right, that's kind of rude. You are rude. Look at him, he's just shooting me from a very long distance away. Well, um, like I like I said, um, they actually can uh, plant one of these uh, trees or the sapling. He carries his sapling up in his like uh, sort of abdominal region or his little. I don't know what that region is called. I've never encountered such a thing like that. And, ooh, there's a friendly, nice little looking bat. Well, nevertheless, we have the soldier bug. Now, we've also encountered this one earlier before. He looks like the guy from Bug's Life. That sort of uh, guy from the circus. That's what he reminds me of. Um, I forget what his name is in... Um, someone maybe in the comments might know. In Bug's Life, what is that green uh, grass... Not grasshopper, I think. I'm not quite sure what it's called. Uh, but nevertheless, he is a boss in in medium size it claims he has a high power of attack and also health with various attacking patterns now if we go get ourselves a, a sword and diminish him down to 50% health he will actually start buzzing and um, actually glowing uh, in uh, oh god look at his disc attacks these are called discs attacks and he does a lot of damage let me tell you that um, I would get quite sick and there we go he uh, is actually quite sick, but it says that he oh, uh, he get, creates a body shield if his health is lower than 50%, but as you can see in the soldier bug sort of GUI at the top there, um, it's saying that he's, he's got a lot more than 50% health around that. Uh, now it's around 60, but uh, I'm not quite sure what that, that's all about, but he's created his shield over there. Maybe he's going to die faster and faster. I, want, I wonder when he's going to die. All right, just die already. Oh, God, he's got so much health he's got so much health and you know what has more health the night bug the night bug that we see over there is gigantic god damn it just die this guy is crazy oh my god stop it uh, I'm, I'm going to give up soon I can see his health is going down inch by inch or little bit by little bit um, but it's just just oh we're not even attacking him with our sword now sort of there we go um, Ah, oh, there we go. Well, what's happening now? I haven't, I haven't, I've never actually killed one of these. So this is a whole new experience for me. Stop it. Stop, just die. Just die. God, he's got a lot of health. So you guys got to watch out. You guys got to have a lot of armor. And I actually think it's quite impossible to kill one of these. Even with your uh, fully armored and fully suited up. And we're about to kill him. All right, here we go. Here we go. And let's see what happens. Anything cool? Anything? Oh, he goes running... And there we go. We got we got a couple of items. We got a lot of XP though. We got uh, around about 17 XP, which is kind of a nice encounter to do that and uh, still come out on top. I'm gonna switch over to daytime and take a look at the night bug. Now with the translation, God damn it! Stop shooting at me. Well, with the translation of this mod, there has been a little bit of a confusion. In the forum post, this is called a night bug, and in the game, it's called a night bug with different spelling. Um, I'm not quite sure which one is correct, but nevertheless, this guy has uh, is also classified as a boss, as a medium size. He has no fall damage, and he can't drown. He spawns in the forest or the virus forest and he will not despawn unless he has uh, sort of, uh, if he has, 
lower than 50% health. Now you can see he has a lot more health than the previous boss that we had a battle with, so we're not going to go and all out and try to kill him. But he doesn't have... Stop it. Stop it. He doesn't have uh, any sort of knockback, so if you normally hit a zombie, they knock back, but uh, he has no knockback, unless you are using an enchanted weapon. And as you can see, he has two types of attacks. He has uh, a zombie-like attack, where he just goes up close to you, gets in your personal space and molests you, and or a TNT explosion-like effect, where he, if you're in the close radius, as you can see, he blows himself up and uh, incurs some damage himself, and also to myself as well, so it's sort of like a creeper explosion mixed with TNT. And this guy has a lot of health. What the hell just happened? He just catapulted himself. Alright, stop the night bug. You're creeping everyone out with you. You're too big. Alright, uh, now he's throwing blocks. This did not, uh, the throwing blocks part was not mentioned in the actual uh, farm thread, which is kind of weird, uh, although this is being translated and may have been missed out. Um, so I've also noticed that he's been throwing blocks, but he gets blocks out of nowhere. So he's just pulling blocks out of the sky. He's not pulling blocks from anywhere other than his own ass, and he manages to throw blocks at me. Kind of rude. Kind of very rude, Nightbug. You're rude. Very rude. And here we have a purple... God, he just, he just catapulted himself, his fat ass, all the way to me. And this is what I was saying that the um, virus flying bug likes to uh, sort of sit on other mobs. And this guy is has got explosive diarrhea or something. Stop it. Stop throwing at me. I'm going away. This is a very dangerous and mean biome unless you are willing to risk it for the reward. Risk it for the biscuit. As they say, we're going to get the reward. And as you can see, it has, uh, of course, all the caves, all the irons, all the uh, sort of tools can be found. As, as you can see, we have the iron and coal. Everything is normal except in the uh, sort of above ground uh, look looks a little bit different with a new incorporated items. Now there is one thing before I finish off this video that I uh, sort of left out. I haven't covered every single part of this mod um, because it is uh, kind of big and also um, uh, I'm lost for words. Um, it is uh, also quite demanding. No, that's not the word I'm trying to say. It's also very hard to decipher what what is for what. Um, so here we have we have a friendly skeleton. Now a friendly skeleton uh, can be crafted using uh, some of these uh, crafting recipes uh, on the forum thread. But they are using uh, the virus bugs uh, sort of main drop that they do. Uh, and as you can see, it got demolished by these evil looking virus bugs and there is a lot of mean looking mobs here. So here we go, we're just gonna place two stone and uh, a, oh, what's happening? Oh, all right, all right, well, windows, you can do whatever you want while I'm recording, all right. There we go, and we've transformed him into a friendly skeleton, I was gonna say a scary, scary skeleton. God damn it. Stop. A scary skeleton, but take a look at the ambush he's getting. He's getting absolutely molested, dominated by these guys, and it is completely unfair. Very, very hard to uh, do this in survival mode. I have no idea how anyone would survive here in a night, let alone uh, live here, because they are full of mean... Angry bullying mobs. I don't like the I don't like this one especially. He's got too much health. Stop it. I can stand I can stand that fat one over there, but uh, these guys these guys just look scary. He's got like some turrets. He's got some machine guns on his back. He's got wings. He can flap. He can fly, but he can't fly really high up. He's sort of like a chicken. He's, they sort of think they can fly, but they can't. Um, so I've got that against them. So, uh huh? Yeah, what are, you, what are you gonna do, huh? You get nothing. I'm in creative mode. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, for the person that donated um, the Optifine map, um, thank you, but no thanks. I hate the Optifine map. Or the, uh, the not the map, but the um, Optifine cape. It is truly annoying, but uh, every time I do it, I have to go multiplayer and switch capes off. I don't know, I just don't like capes, especially this one, and uh, I don't know, I was reading that someone has to donate for you to get that cape, and someone must have donated under my name, and I thank them for it, but um, I don't know, they sort of did something that I didn't want to happen. I don't know what's that called, but uh, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like the video, and have a nice day.